Hello everyone. This is the official tutorial for Scrape Storm. This lesson will show you how to set scraping range. Let's get started. First, open a smart mode task. When introducing paging settings, we say that there are three kinds of paging settings. Next page button, scroll to load and now. The scraping range is based on these three kinds of paging and is set in more detail. The default setting of the scraping range is from the current page to the last page. In general, we don't need to set it. But if you have some special needs, you need to click here to set them up. Let's take a look at the settings. The first is to set the start page, which is the current page by default. There is a prompt for the custom setting item. There are three points. One, the value must be more than or equal to one. Two, setting one means the current page. Three, setting two means that the next page of the current page is the start page. The second is to set the end page, which is similar to the setting of the start page. It is default to scrape to the last page. There are also three points for custom setting item. The third is to set skip data, which is to skip some unnecessary content when scraping. It includes two settings. One. Skip the first few data of each page. 2. Skip the last few data of each page. If both options are checked, the number of data skipped is equal to the sum of the values of the two options. If the value is greater than the total number of data in the current page, no data will be scraped. The last is the task stop trigger. This condition has a higher priority than the first three conditions, which means that if the stop condition set here is satisfied, the task will stop ahead of time. Click the Add button to open the settings window. Click New Rule to add a condition and click New Group to add a condition group. The relationship between groups is all, and the relationship within the group is end. Select a condition and click Delete to delete this condition. After all the conditions in the group have been deleted, the group will be deleted. You can click here for a tutorial. Each condition is set on a certain field. Take the current task as an example. We set to stop scraping if the date is earlier than December 1st, 2019. Click New Rule and select the Date field. The optional fields here are all the fields in the task. Next, we set the conditions. Different conditions are suitable for different content. Choose time before and enter December 1st, 2019. Click OK after setting. Use the default settings for other options. And click OK again. This sets the scraping range from the current to the last page but stops when the date is earlier than December 1st, 2019. Click Start and we'll cover the wrong settings in other tutorials. Here we use the default settings. Click Start to open the task run interface. We can see that only 4 pieces of data has been scraped. 
and the task is stopped ahead of time. This is because the fifth data satisfies the stop condition. Setting the task stop trigger can shorten the scraping time, but you need to avoid data missing. If the page content is arranged in a certain order, for example, the content of the web page is arranged in chronological order. If we only want to scrape data for a certain period of time, we can use the time field as a task stop condition. However, if the content of the page is not in the order, we cannot use the stop trigger but the filter. The filter condition is to scrape all the data within the scraping range you set, and only save data when it satisfies the condition. The setting of the filter will be introduced to you in other tutorials. That's all for today. Thank you.